We're back with another Mallard decoy comparison. It's been a little while, but we usually kind of have a little bit of trouble getting everything all in at once. We finally got enough decoys in to where we compare a lot all at once. What are we comparing today? Today we have uh, floating mallards in the premium you know, level with flocked heads. That's the kind of the kicker on this video. We have all these decoys in front of us are flocked heads and they're in that premium carve and price point, you know, the premium carves, premium plastics, all that good stuff. And that's what we're going to categorize these as the premium flocked head mallard uh, review. And we're going to go down the line and talk about which brands we have here. And then we're going to go through weights and paints and, and materials and all that good stuff. Um, so starting at the right, Aaron, let's hold up for the camera so they can get a good look at the decoy. We have the Avian X Top Flight. New for this year for us is the flocked head 12 pack version. So um, get a good look at that decoy. We're gonna go. We're gonna run through these really quick, and then we're gonna go over the different stuff. And then to your guys's right, to the left, is the Final Approach Live uh, flocked head mallards. Um, and that's a 12 pack as well. Get a good look at that one. And then. We have the GHG Pro Grade XD Series Flocked Head Mallards. It's a 12 pack. Um, it's, a, it's a very popular skew. It's been out for a few years for us. And then we have a, a long time decoy for us. This is the Dakota Extreme Flocked Head Mallards. And it's a 12 pack as well. Um, to the left, you guys is right. I want you to grab that one. We got the Higdon Flocked Head Battleship Floating Mallard. This is a big boy right here. Foam filled, we'll go over that here in a bit. And then the Heyday, formerly known as Lifetime Decoys, Flex Float, Flocked Head, Floating Mallards, um, which is a lot going on with this. Um, cool features we'll get into here in a little bit. Starting off, let's go over like material. Um, okay. yeah. Material's been a big thing for these, for Mallard decoys, and it's changed a lot since our last decoy review, really. Mm -hmm. So starting with the Avian X Top Flights, um, we have an EVA plastic, a soft plastic. You guys, if you've looked in the Avian X decoys, they are, you've noticed that for, I think, ever since they came out, they've had that softer EVA plastic. Um, and we'll go over that with some of these. The EVA plastic is, is more of a porous foam that absorbs the paint and it, and it takes, you know, takes more beating. It can bend and flex, doesn't crack, chip, and all that stuff. Aaron, what we got there? So this would be the Final Approach Live Floating Mallards with Flocked Heads. Also an EVA material, yeah. super soft. So Chandler was telling you about the advantages of the EVA material. So that's what this guy is right here, EVA. Up next, XD, yep. Flocked Head, also EVA material. Super soft, supple, not gonna crack when it's super cold outside, not gonna shatter. Um, so that would be these three right here that are EVA. And then we move into something else a little bit there. So the, the Dakota's extremes have like a high density plastic that is, it's, it's hard, but it's a strong, it's been durable. A lot of guys have hunted these for many years, but it's not, um, a soft EVA like the previous three we just talked about. Um, as you can see there, you can kind of hear that. And then the same thing on the battleships. Um, but as we're talking with material, it's a high density plastic that's very durable. Higdon's known for the durability, and they foam filled this one. So this one is a foam filled decoy. Um, so I mean, you can't sink them. You battleship. cannot. That, yeah, you can't sink my battleship on that one. Great yeah. if you have some hunters that like to shoot low, or you've got some mm -hmm. youngsters. That's an advantage of that one. Yep. So the Heyday Flex Float Mallards here has a. It's also an EVA foam, but it's got. It's just a different process, manufacturing process to this decoy. Um, it is very lightweight. Uh, the foam is very thick, but I think it's, you know, there's, there's more air mixed into that plastic. Mm -hmm. It's a lighter decoy. Um, and this, we don't have the, the, the keel weights in there. We'll go over that in a bit. Um, but it's also a, you know, squishy, flexible, beatable material that holds the paint really well. It's not going to crack. I don't think you can crack these at all. And the, and the paints can really hold to that material. Um, going over to size, or paint first, actually. We'll get to size here in a second. Uh, all these have premium paint jobs. Yeah, I'm looking at them right here, and I can't say that there's one of these decoys that I wouldn't hunt. No. They're all, they're all top of the line, they're all premium, and they reflect that in both the carb yeah. and the paint. 
Um, looking at top flight, if you hold that one up, um, it is not on the lighter side, but it's not too dark, but it's definitely got the darker profile, um, a good gray, good dark gray, and then the, the dark browns on the back. Um, <clears throat> you know, and the, the flocking on the head has some contrast between the green and the dark and a little bit of purple in mm -hmm. there, if you can see that. Um, the build color on this particular decoy is a little bit different from the others. A little more orange. A little bit more orange. It's closer to the Dakota extremes, but, um, but other than that, it's a very, very nice, realistic looking card. Lots of or good contrast. Realistic looking paint, for Lots sure. Lots of good contrast, too, between the grays and the browns. I do like that. Yeah. What do we got next here? The FA Live uh, EVA Mallards here I have a, a little bit lighter of a gray. Um, really good job on the flocking on the head with the, the contrasting between the green and the black. And then they have some little bit of blue in there. Um, it's a touch lighter. Um, and you can look at the tail on that. The Avian X tail is not as bright as, as the, the, the FA one. It's a little bit different there. Looking at the XD's next for GHG Pro Grades, um, they are a darker duck. Um, they got a lot of detail in the paint, though. You can see there's a lot going on. They really, really want to emphasize the, the unique carves that they have on these decoys. Um, and this is a really cool resting posture. They have some, you know, stencil work on the heads as far as the flocking. They have kind of that cheek um, stencil there that gives some detail there. And uh, a lot of a lot of feather detail on the sides and whatnot. And then Dakota has lightened up their extreme mallards um, from from previous years, from years and years ago. Um, but they got a, a very light gray, lighter than the previous three we've talked about. And would you consider it like a January mallard almost, or it's in between like some it's, of these mallards and a, yeah. like a really light late season or January mallard? It's it's not quite a January January yeah. mallard to me, but it's very it's getting close. But it, I bet they pop oh, right off the water. I guarantee they do. Yeah, and they got you know a nice white tail. That kind of that's when I see a spread too. I can tell sometimes when Dakotas are they're in the spread because they kind of have that big high white pop tail. Especially with the honkers too. Yeah. yeah. And then the battleships, um, not as light as the as the as the extreme is getting close, but they're a nice gray, good rich browns. Um, got some you know some iridescence on the speculum if you can see that, and they got a little bit of white on the on the tail, but not as much as some of the previous like the extremes or the mm -hmm. FAs. And then. Yeah. The heyday over here, uh, flex float mallard has a different kind of tone to the the gray. It's a very light colored gray, but it also has a kind of like a muddy hint to it. I don't mm -hmm. know, a little bit more yellow, kind uh, of cream. Yeah, kind of a cream color, and they got some. They don't have a very bright white tail feathers there. It's it's kind of a cream color as well. Um, but the contrast of the decoy is, is definitely, it's going to pop off of, you know, the darker, sure. you know, muddy holes and, and marshes and stuff like that. But they've done really well with the, the paint as well. I think some of the most detail in the paint job might go to the XD series followed by, like, you know, FAs or Heydays or, or maybe, maybe Dakota. Next, and Dakota yeah. So I mean, they've. The XDs here, they got a lot of stencil work on this, on all mm -hmm. the cars and whatnot. Just noticing, it looks like the Avian X is the only one that doesn't have the speculum. Oh, yeah. I just, I, noticing that, all these other ones at least have it to some extent. Now, it may not be super prominent like mm -hmm. on the FA or the Dakota, but it's there. So, and again, the, it depends too on some of the cars, but I tried to grab most that are kind of like a low head or yeah. kind of a rester. Obviously, with the Dakota here, they don't make like a true low head or rester, but that they've got an upright, and this isn't the upright. Mm -hmm. So, same with the battleship. So, I tried to grab somewhat of the same position. So, a lot going on. We should probably move on to size. Yeah, we can burn through size really quick. Um, looking at size, it looks like if you just pull up XDs and Avian X, they're probably towards the the smaller size, but they're I mean they're they're life size, so they're they're not yes. small decoys at all. But they're they're life size to a, a you know a mallard you know mm -hmm. an average mallard I would say uh, you can see that there and then I'll hold up just compared to the XD the FAs get like a ten percent I don't know fifteen percent a little bit bigger growth sure. they're a little oversized they're just you know bigger butterball yeah. of a mallard you mm -hmm. see that in there yeah just longer you can see that in you know 
probably the same width on this particular exactly. car. That one's got a really wide carve to it. And then I would throw that, comp I would say the FA's compared to maybe the Extremes, Dakota, or yeah. what about the Lifetime? How does it fit in there size-wise? So the Lifetime, I feel like, is more of a, is a size of like that XD that we were Yeah, I think that. you're right, Yeah, but the, looking at that, yeah. The Dakota has is actually probably longer than the, the FA a little bit, uh, but maybe not as wide. Mm -hmm. They're very, very similar in size, sure. for sure. But yeah, if you hold the XD up compared to the uh, Heyday, or that's the FA, so you FA, can see it's a yeah. little bit, it's got some width to it, but it's a little bit shorter. So yeah, there it is compared to the XD, which very, is going to be very, very similar, similar in size. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, the Battleship is sure. the big guy, as you can see here. That's that. I mean, looking at maybe compared to the FA Live, you can see the difference. That's the battleship right there. Mm -hmm. You know, hold it out of the camera. Yeah, it but, is. It is big. Yeah, it is big. So the reason yeah. we kind of picked that one, I know it's it's big, it's huge, but we're trying to get it to where if you go with a 12 pack price, these are all premium, top of the line from yeah. these brands, and in a 12 pack price, they're going to be very similar. Yeah. So, so real quick, we're going to burn through some weight. Okay, let me get a scale. And again, remember, the lifetime on the end, we don't have the weights in. I want to say the weights add four ounces. I'm trying to remember. Mm -hmm. I think it's two two-ounce weights. I'm not 100%. Please don't hold me to it. Avian X on the end. Yep. Pound and a half. Yep, 1.5. Okay. Final Approach Live EVA Flocked Head. 1.76. So one and three-quarter. A little bit heavier, but a, a bigger decoy. So it's very similar. Let's get the scale to zero out here. There we go. XDs, which are similar to the uh, uh, Avian X, they're actually a touch under a pound and a half. Mm -hmm. 1.4, which the top flights were 1.5. Um, FAs were out, or a pound and three, three quarter. quarter. Yeah. Dakota, I'm guessing these are going to be a little heavier. So these aren't the EVA plastic. These are 1.8. So a little bit heavier than the, the final approach. Lives, we'll just now jump over. Yeah, we're gonna we'll get the two drastic ones coming up next. So this one is gonna be extremely light because we don't have any keel weights in there. So like, you know, these other decoys have sand in their keel. These weigh sub a pound, 0 0.86. Mm -hmm. um, so sub 16 ounces. But you throw in, they're going to be probably over. They yeah, they're be just over a pound, pound like 1.1 1 .1 or something like that. When you throw in I believe the weights, so. that's still the lightest on the table. But I, I know guys that run without weight, so. Correct, yeah. yeah. Now this guy, hold on. So this is a foam field, and we'll go over that in a second. Um, the biggest decoy here. So it, we're going to give you the weight, but just, you know. Bear with me while I get this guy through here. All right. 2.3, so just over two and a quarter, um, over two pounds. So, recapping, everything is about a pound and a half to about and three quarters, besides the lifetimes are closer to that pound mark, and the battleships are over the two pound mark, two and a quarter. So, kind of going over the features, why each the, none of these decoys have all the same features. They're all a little bit different. This is where, where you're probably going to start to set in on what decoy you like the best. Mm -hmm. Starting with the top flights, um, we have a one-piece decoy. It's with, EVA. With EVA. So that's the, we talked about that at the beginning. And mm -hmm. then it has multiple head positions. Um, in the 12-pack. In the 12-pack. And it's got multiple rigging points and... A really nice way to wind your cord on the keel if you're not using the full length of that, mm -hmm. that your Texas rig line or your decoy line. Um, one of the features on FA besides the EVA and the flocked head and all that is the FA 12 pack has a ton of head positions, so ton of carves and whatnot. And it's got multiple rigging points on the keel. It's a weight forward keel, all the good stuff. This one comes with a bag. And this one comes in this particular pack with the flocked head. It does come with the bag, so I would say yeah, that's a good feature. And then the XDs, I mean, multiple carves, like yeah. multiple different looks. It's, you know, up there with the final approach and different offerings in that 12 pack. 60, 40 keel on the GHD. They've been using that for a long time. And then they have multiple rig, multiple points. rig points as well. That's the Harvester 12 pack. Yeah. The Dakota Extremes here, they don't have, you know, some of these previous ducks, we, we have surface feeders and stuff in the Yeah, in uprights, packs. resters, yeah. Yeah, surface feeders, different things like that. Uh, the extreme mallards don't have like a surface feeder, uh, particularly in this pack. They have a couple different head positions. 
and they have the same body, but they have multiple heads. This is a two-piece decoy. Um, and you can kind of pick left, right facing, you know, this, you know, a standard swimmer look or, you know, the regular upright. I think they have a little bit taller head as well. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of twist them around and whatnot. You can even kind of make a preener look like Exactly, you did. yeah. Multiple rigging positions on the yep. keel. So it is a two-piece. You have to install the heads when you get them. Um, but they're very good. They've been used over time. They're a very good head connection. Yes. The Higdon is also a two-piece um, with a really nice dark flocked head. I do like that. Mm -hmm. And then this, the features on this are, I mean, they're indestructible. They're foam-filled. The paint holds up really well. Multiple rigging points. The head positions on this, were they were they mainly upright? Do they have a feeder in that pack? They've got, they do have one feeder in the pack, which is a one-piece. Okay. So it's the kind of the rester and then the uprights, which are a two-piece. The surface feeder is a one-piece, I believe. Gotcha. But yeah, I mean, they're very good, solid connection. Again, you can do kind of a preener or yep. whatever you want to do there. But gives you some options. That two-piece gives you different looks. Your ducks all, don't all look the same. These other one-pieces, you know, to, to make all your ducks not look the same, they, they have multiple, multiple head positions, mm -hmm. resters, uprights, drinkers, you know, feeders, all that good stuff. And then we have the the heydays here. Um, the cool thing about this, look at this open cavity here. Uh, this is their flex float keel system. Um, the swimming action is supposed to be increased with this keel system. Um, you can rig them from the front and the back, so there's two rigging points. Um, flocked head, this is a rester. How many, do they have any more head positions on the, the mallet? I think it's just one. Yeah. It's just one, so just this head position, just a nice loafing rester position, but the weight is the big feature, the, the, how light it is. And I would also say that the life, or the, excuse me, the, the heyday and the battleship from Higdon are both probably ones that they can take pellets and be just fine. Correct. Um, I mean, yeah, you could shoot this, it's not sinking. You can shoot that one, it's not sinking. These other ones, pretend, you know, wherever you hit it, you know, it could yeah. potentially get water in the decoy for sure. So yeah, indestructible and super light. Um, yeah, really, you can add weights, you can take them off. So if you take them off, they're probably not going to self right is nice. If you, yeah. get, you know, you potentially could have some laying on their back when you throw them out. You have to go up and flip them over yourself. You throw in the weights, they should self right a higher percentage of the time. Probably pretty close to 100%, but maybe a couple that don't. Um, so, yeah, those are kind of the features. Did I miss anything? No, I think that we hit everything there. So yeah. then I guess we kind of go to price, and we've actually got them on the table in order of price. Yeah, so you guys have seen the weight. You've seen the, the colors, cars, material, the features. You're kind of making your decision. We kind of have the price, um, you know, because this is going to go on YouTube. We're not listing the prices here, but price right now, these bottom three are, are not, you know, they're priced right in with each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, depending on when you jump on our website, they're going to be neck and neck Yeah. Um, per dozen is what we're doing the dozen price here. And yes. then you increase just a little bit for the Dakota Extremes and then, you know, throw in another, you know, $40, $50 and you're going to be at the battleship price and this all could change a little bit. Exactly. And then at the top of the, of the price point is the Lifetime 12-pack. Um, it is quite a bit of difference between this one and the top flights. So that's the price ranking, you know, these bottom three are pretty much neck and neck and then it grows a little bit at a time and then the lifetimes are at the higher price point. Um, you know, but they have a ton of features. Absolutely. I think we've hit everything. There's a lot of information to digest yeah. in this video. So it's a little bit longer than our typical video, but we wanted to make sure that we got as much information to you in this video. So if you're in the market for mallards, especially flocked head mallards, of the premium variety, we got as much to you as we could. So you can make an informed decision because there's a lot to look at. There's yeah. a lot to think about. There's a lot, hey, am I looking for lightweight? Am I looking for durability? Am I, you know, there's so many things. Yeah. So we tried to get as much information for you guys there as we could in this video. And leave a comment on your favorite Mallard pack that you picked that you watched on this video. All right, if you're watching this on YouTube, what are they gonna do? Hit that button down there. Yes. That way, when we put out videos like this Mallard comparison, you'll get a notification and you'll be among the first to see it because this video came to YouTube hours, maybe even days before it went to our other social media. If you want more information, down in the description, I'll have a link to each one of these. So you can check them out on our website in case we missed anything or you want to add them to your cart. Um, 
Also, head over to Facebook, head over to Instagram, follow us over there. And if you use Rogers branded products, tag us and you may see yourself featured on our social media.